All right, welcome back to the shop. So I've got a very special growler here. Uh, this M1161 was donated from a guy in Texas to the Reagan Ranch up here in Central California. And the guy, a guy contacted me from the Reagan Ranch, said that he's seen my YouTube videos and he wanted to know if he could send us up here to the shop so we can go through it and get all the systems working on it. He said that when he first got it, he was driving it up from the drop off area up to the ranch and the exhaust was smoking and it had some uh, oil leaking on it. He thought maybe it was steering fluid because the uh, steering fluid reservoir was low and the steering had some was really tough and the brakes, you could tell the brake booster wasn't working very well. So, so I pulled the top of the res the cap off the reservoir. Uh, it was really low and you could just see it swirling, sucking air in as it was swirling down, kind of getting the last bit of the oil out. So I filled that up, played with it some more, topped it off again. I got most of the air blood out and the brake booster's working fine now. The steering's working okay. Um, we come over here to the other side and we can see what was leaking on this thing. Um, get the camera down here, you can see the exhaust down here is just coated in oil. And what that's coming from is uh, there's a breather block right here. Um, and the, the breather line from the transmission goes to it. And for whatever reason, that's overflowing. So that's something that we need to figure out what's going on there. So we get that fixed. <clears throat> Uh, you can tell that the wastegate valve is frozen shut just by looking at it. So we need to, we're going to have to fix the wastegate valve. Over here at the air filter. You see someone had just stuck the air filter on. The clamp's kind of in the wrong spot, so it won't hold it down. So we'll fix that up. It's going to need a belt. Um, a lot of little things like that we're going to end up doing to it. Uh, if you look at the CV boots, all the CV boots are bad. Um, they've got grease spraying all over the place, so they're getting close to doing that. So we'll change all the CV boots. Um, the airbags, two of the airbags are pretty pretty rough shape. Two of them look okay, but we'll probably just change all four just so that they're all four done at once. That way it's not an issue with, um, he's not gonna have to worry about that for a long time. Uh, if you come around the side here, you can see whoever, the guy that donated to him, it changed the seats, put in these kind of racing buckets. Um, must not have had the original seats or he didn't like them. Uh, they're actually pretty comfortable. And then the rear one, they just kind of put like a tractor or lawnmower kind of seat in the back. So I don't know if the owner wants to keep it that way or what. Um, anyways, I'm just here to fix up all the mechanical stuff. I'm not really worried about the cosmetics as far as the rust and the paint and stuff goes. Um, one thing that's nice about it, it's got a winch in the front. And I even found a winch controller in the, in the back. Uh, it's got a spare tire with a mount. It's got the basket in the back. Looks like someone shot one of the mortars through it or something, but I'm going to see if I can get that fixed. Uh, it came with the air hose, the air hose system that comes with. It's got a tire truck on it. It's got a blow gun on it. Uh, it's got a jump. Well, it's got the winch cable. We use that for jump starting. Back in here, it's got uh, the blue tops, which I have in mind. Really good batteries. Uh, you look down at the compressor, uh, the air filter is just laying there next to the compressor. It's just totally decomposed. Uh, that's not a problem, put a new, put a new uh, filter on that. Uh, the suspension was stuck at first. When it first showed up, I, it wouldn't raise up. Um, I built a head of air in it, I was playing around with it, and I finally got it to raise up. So it's going to have a few issues in there. We probably just have to clean up the valve, do, uh, lubricate the valve, and uh, we'll be able to get that working though, without a problem. So the gauges weren't working. Um, I pulled the fuse cut, the panel off the fuse box and I was playing with the fuses and just the fuse had a bad connection on it for the gauges. So I've got the gauges working. All the other stuff in the dash seems to work okay. Um, you know, aside from, you know, this had an issue, but I think it's in the valving in the back, you know, the height control, but it did work as far as uh, lowering and going back up the right height and the manual valves worked. The CTIS system seems to work. Uh, doesn't have any faults. So, um, but we'll double check all that, make sure it doesn't have any leaks. The air compressor works, the horn works, all, um, has a burnout headlight, other than that all the lights do work on it. Uh, the only issue in here on the dash is like the, the rear steering, it's still welded, we're going to cut that, we're going to reanimate the rear steering. Um, but one thing is usually once we, we turn this on, um, even though the locks are locked and you play with the joystick, you can see the wheel, rear wheels twitch a little bit, um, fighting against the locks, but this one's not doing that at all. In fact, we don't have any lights that come on either, so we're going to have to check power to this. Make sure that, um, you know, see what's going on with this. And we'll make sure that the rear steering is working before we send it back. But, um, other, anyways, it's just a real quick video to kind of show you what it was like when it got here. Uh, kind of a documentary video. And, I mean, it's, it's absolutely just cool. I'm just honored to be able to work on this thing. So I should have this done in about a week. And then I'll do another video showing what, what we found wrong with it. 
showing what we did to it and then uh, the truck will come back and take it back to the Reagan Ranch and hopefully it'll stay up there for a long time and they'll get a lot of use out of it. So anyways, um, please hit the like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.